Okay, we this is a video about the Vanmo video projector. Just received this, so we're going to open up and see what it looks like. All right, it looks like it comes in a nice little case. Here's what that looks like. I'm going to open that up and see what's inside. Okay, got a little card here with an owner's manual. A little quality certificate and got some cables here HDMI cable and a audio cable audio video cable also a United States power cable all right this little strap velcro is on there we'll pull that off and we'll lift this out underneath it We've got our remote, and let's take this out of the bag. Here is the projector, okay, it's got a little removable cap. You can see it's fairly small. On the back, we've got our connectors here. You can see there, there's a VGA. Next to that, we've got that AV in cable. I'm guessing that that is to connect this. Then we've got a headphone out. We've got two USB ports, an HDMI port, and it looks like an infrared receiver. There's also an infrared receiver on the front. Okay, let's power this thing up and see what it can do. So right now I've got a test pattern up on the screen here, and uh, it's a little bit blurry because I haven't done anything yet. I'm gonna just zoom in here a little bit so you can see that it's blurry. We're going to work on trying to focus this a little bit. Okay, and as you can see here, there's a little bit of a keystone correction here that this projector has. It's not automatic or anything, but um, we can shift the image like this or like this to try to correct for keystone. Now the keystone adjustment for this one seems to be right about here. What we're trying to do is get both the top and the bottom in focus. It's a little bit fiddly, but I think we're going to be able to get that and then we'll adjust the focus a little bit and dial that in. Now, this projector is rated as a 1080p projector. Uh, it accepts a 1080p input from my computer. However, it scales it down probably to 720. Okay, here we go. As you can see, the picture is a little bit dim with all the lights on here. So let's go ahead and turn some lights down and see uh, what the picture looks like in a darkened room here. Okay, I've turned off most of the lights now. We have a little lamp in the corner here. And the picture is fairly easy to see now. Uh, if I go ahead and turn that lamp off. No, it's reasonably good. Could watch this and it would be fine. I'm going to turn some lights back on here so we can see. As you can see with the lights on in the room, it's uh, a little bit hard to see what's going on. But you can still see it, and especially the lighter scenes, if it's a film that doesn't have a lot of dark in it, uh, should be fine. Overall, for the price, this isn't a bad projector. Uh, it's small, it's very lightweight, uh, it has a LED uh, lamp instead of uh, some of the other ones. They say it's supposed to last tens of thousands of hours, so that you won't have to replace it, which is good because as far as I can tell, there's nowhere to buy new bulbs for this. Um, it has a fan. The fan is medium loud, medium soft compared to other projectors. Uh, maybe a little bit louder than average, but not bad. The fan doesn't run after you power it off, which kind of bothers me after using lots of projectors that always have a fan cycle after everything's dead, so that could be a problem. Uh, it might not be a problem given that this is a, you know, an LED-based projector. Maybe the LED just doesn't get that hot that it's a problem. We've watched several movies on here with the kids and they enjoyed it. We did have to try to cover up the windows to make the room darker. 
because some of the darker scenes in the movies we just couldn't hear. Uh, but overall, uh, we enjoyed it and the kids liked having a great big picture on the wall instead of uh, the little TV that we usually use. Be sure to check out the written review that I have for additional details and things that I didn't mention here in the video. Wow.